Hello and welcome to Pregnancy Info. Today we will discuss the topic and ovulation, its causes, its symptoms and treatment, etc. An ovulation is a common cause of infertility. It's caused by hormonal disbalance and the main sign of it is having irregular periods. An ovulation can often be treated by lifestyle changes and or medications. What is an ovulation? An ovulation happens when an egg doesn't release from an ovary during your menstrual cycle. An egg is needed to have a pregnancy. Since multiple hormones are involved in ovulation, there are many causes of inovulation. Chronic inovulation is a common cause of infertility. How does ovulation work? Ovulation is the release of an egg from your ovary. Ovulation is part of the menstrual cycle. On average, it happens on the day 14 of a 28-day menstrual cycle. There are multiple hormones involved in ovulation. The process of ovulation begins when your hypothalamus releases gonadotrophin releasing hormone that causes your pituitary gland to secrete FSH and LH. So, by these hormones, the egg is released from the ovary. This process is called ovulation. The question is that, can I have menstruation without ovulation? In the medical world, menstruation happens when an egg that's released from your ovary isn't fertilized. So, the uterus shed its lining. Because of this, you can now technically menstruate without ovulating. However, you can still bleed, experience a period without ovulating. This is called as abnormal uterine bleeding or AUB or anovulatory bleeding. Who does anovulation affect? Anovulation can affect Anyone who has ovaries and is of childbearing age, which on average is between the ages of 12 and 51, if any of the following conditions or situations apply to you, you are more likely to experience an ovulation. You have just started getting periods. You are in perimenopause. Pause. You have polycystic ovary syndrome. You have a very low body mass intake. How common is ovulation? How common is an ovulation? An ovulation is common condition and is caused for approximately 25% of infertility cases. Approximately 1 in 10 people with ovaries who are of childbearing age experience an ovulation at some point in their lives. What are the symptoms? Being aware of general signs of ovulation and keeping track of your menstrual cycles can help alert you to signs and symptoms of inovulation. It's important to remember that having a period doesn't necessarily mean you have ovulated. Signs and symptoms of inovulation can involve having irregular periods. If the length of time in between your periods keeps changing, it's considered an irregular period. The average menstrual cycle is of 28 days, but it can be a couple of days shorter or longer than that. Having a very heavy or light period. A heavy period is defined by losing over 16 teaspoons of blood within your period or having a period that lasts longer than 7 days but a loss of fewer than 4 teaspoons or 20 ml throughout your periods is considered a light period. Having a lack of periods or amenorrhea. Missing one or more periods without being pregnant could be sign of inovulation. Having a lack of cervical mucus. Right before and during ovulation, you usually have the most vaginal discharge called cervical mucus. It usually looks like raw egg whites. If you don't have this discharge, you may be experiencing an ovulation. Having an irregular body basal temperature. Your basal body temperature is your temperature when you're fully at rest. It's usually taken after you wake up and before you are done any type of physical movement or activity. Ovulation can cause a slight increase in your basal body temperature. What are the causes of anovulation? In general, the cause of anovulation is an imbalance of one or more certain hormones, especially the hormones involved in ovulation, which include gonadotrophin releasing hormone, follicle stimulating hormone or luteinizing hormone. High level of androgens can also cause PCOS, obesity, adrenal gland issues, pituitary gland disorders, certain medications such as anabolic steroids. Pituitary gland dysfunction also cause low body mass index, participating in long-term excessive or intensive exercise, Sheehan syndromes, a pituitary gland tumor, damage to the pituitary gland, and high level of prolactin can cause breastfeeding, a type of pituitary gland tumor called a prolacti, 
pneuma, damage to your pituitary gland, damage to or illness of your kidneys, liver or thyroid, certain medications such as narcotics, etc. can change its level. Low levels of thyroid hormones is also the cause. Low level of gonadotrophin releasing hormone is also the cause. So, these are the causes but how can we diagnose it? In general, the diagnosis of an ovulation is heavy, irregular period. So, if, if you have trying to conceive, your healthcare provider will want to investigate and determine the cause of your anovulation which may lead to another diagnosis. There will be some tests that can be recommended. Tests for diagnosing anovulation depend on what your healthcare provider suspects are causing you an ovulation. Blood progesterone levels, blood thyroid levels, blood prolactin levels, and ultrasound examine of your pelvic organs. Many of the hormone imbalance that cause ovulation have other symptoms, so your provider may have you undergo other tests if you are experiencing symptoms of a certain hormonal imbalance condition. Now, how can it be treated? Treatment of an ovulation depends on correcting the hormonal balance that's causing it if possible in general lifestyle changes that may treat your anovulation include managing your stress managing your weight decreasing your free frequency of exercise and intensity certain medications to treat other conditions adjusting current medications clomiphene citrate this medications helps correcting ovulatory irregulation HCG injections, FSH injections, gonadotrophin releasing hormonal injections, etc. So, this is all about an ovulation. Hope you will understand the problem, its causes, and symptoms. You must share this video with the females who are facing the infertility, and maybe this video help her to find out the cause of infertility. And the awareness is must for the female because it's necessary for her survival. How you find this video? Also, share your comments. Thank you.